Hi, I am Sudhir Tyagi from Rajdhani Scientific Instruments Company, Delhi. Today I am going to tell you about the Abbe Refractometer. This Abbe Refractometer is a basic model and it is benchtop model. This is binocular type in which there are two eyepieces. This left hand side eyepiece, this black color left hand side eyepiece is used to view the scale. This is the scale and this is scale guard in which readings are there in the scale. On the right hand side the eyepiece, in this eyepiece we view the cross wire which is used to judge the readings. So another part this is scale knob. While I rotate this you can see this scale, this scale is moving. So this is called scale knob. This is reflector. It is used to collect the ambient light and direct it inside the prism box. Now the main part of the instrument is this prism box. It is in two parts. One part upper, upper part and lower part. Lower part is movable. However, the upper part is fixed. Now it is detached also. It, it can be detachable. This is the pin, locking pin. Pull out this pin so you can take out this. Now these two parts of the prism box, this upper part is more important because the main prism is this and this is the subordinate prism. So now I'll just fix it again. Now you can see this lower part up and down and this is the lock. This is the lock pin. It locks both the prism parts. Now these are the nozzles. There are four nozzles. One, two, three and four. These four nozzles when this instrument is used with the water bath, constant temperature circulating water bath. Suppose you want to test uh, a sample at a particular temperature. Then we have to connect the circulating water bath with this instrument. So these four nozzles are used to connect the input and output water of that water bath and uh, finally using the water bath uh, we can maintain the temperature around sample and in that way we can uh, take the reading at a particular temperature and here at this point we will connect this thermometer this is the thermometer so now again on the part of the instrument this is the prism box this is conical shape eyepiece this eyepiece scale knob this is scale and on the top there is a hexagonal bolt it is used for packing when I unscrew this uh, bolt you can see the height of the instrument is increasing so what we do is we lower it down we keep it inside the box in the case of the instrument the case of the instrument is like this this is the case of the instrument case of the instrument in which instrument is packed so keeping this instrument inside the case we just unscrew this so that height of the instrument increases and it get tight inside the box for transportation purpose so one thing you have to remember while opening or taking out the instrument from the box by keeping these two fingers rotate this hexagonal bolt clockwise so that height of the instrument get reduced and you can easily take it out so and uh, with the instrument there is one accessory box this is the accessory box in which some two three accessories one main accessory is the thermometer with uh, metallic jacket and uh, one test piece is there this is a test piece this is a test liquid and uh, this is a zero adjuster knob see for calibration purpose there is one small pin this pin can be rotated using this knob this is called uh, adjuster knob this I will tell you just after telling how it operates. So when this adjuster is there and one glass stick is there to keep samples over the prism. As far as troubleshooting is concerned, see this is the optical instrument. So we have to keep it away from the dust. We do give a dust cover also. So always after using the instrument, keep these prisms very carefully. What care we have to take in cleaning this prism, we have to keep a cotton in a box. That box should be covered. 
if the box is open then the dust settles down on the cotton uh, it is called a unseen dust and when you clean with that cotton small scratches will appear on the surfaces of the prism and if you make it a habit then after some time uh, the, those scratches become so prominent that your readings may get distorted or your visibility get distorted so keep cotton inside inside a box and use some isopropyl alcohol or some spirit i mean light reagent to clean it and keep it clean every time after taking readings one thing secondly after taking reading cover this instrument with a dust cover so that dust may not settles on the prism parts or the lens part now i will tell you how to use this now see there are two eye pieces as i told earlier so to focus suppose we have to see the scale reading then focus focusing is done by pulling it up or down this eye piece can be pulled up or it can be pushed down so you can adjust the position where you can see the readings very clearly suppose you are not able to see readings clearly then one reason may be this portion of the scale it should be illuminated the more you illuminate this area you will be able to see readings very clearly now how to put sample see here we have to put suppose we have to put water here then we makes uh, put some two three drops of water here then close it and then lock it now see it is locked after locking it then we have to bring this uh, reflector below this uh, prism box sometimes the ambient light is not enough so we use a table lamp this is a old kind of table lamp you can use it in a lamp in a lab generally it is required and the position of this table lamp light should be like this it is not entirely focus on this uh, glass plate it is just a small light is coming on this glass and when you view from this eye piece you will see a cross wire so <clears throat> one thing you have to remember that if that cross wire is not clear to you there is a shadow also now this type of cross wire you will see this type of cross wire you will see uh, when you view, view this eye piece and uh, horizontal line and this slanted lines this is a shadow basically so depending upon sample and when you rotate the scale knob the shadow will go up and down so what we have to do is we place the sample close the prism box and view this uh, uh, adjust this uh, right hand side uh, eye piece uh, so that our focus is clear everything is seen clearly and then we have to rotate the scale knob and we have to rotate scale up till this shadow matches the intersection point of the cross wire so the this is a intersection point of cross wire so this shadow may be below or it may be up so we have to move this shadow by rotating scale knob so that this shadow uh, intersect uh, matches at the intersection point of cross wire and at that point we have to stop and take the reading from the left hand side eye piece so this is what the procedure is i'll just explain once again in a short what we have to do is this is the prism box we have to keep sample here liquid sample mind it we have to use liquid samples generally with uh, this uh, aber refractometer so if you are using a liquid uh, sample then keep some two three drops of the liquid sample here and then we close it then lock it now it is locked after locking it we have to adjust the light so that and focus this eye piece focusing this eye piece uh, where you will see the clear cross wire visibility of cross wire is good you stop this eye piece at that point and one more thing there is one black color circular piece in which some readings are engraved so uh, when you keep the sample and you rotate the scale knob when you uh, rotate the scale knob then the shadow will come one more thing while using this instrument is that shadow 
demarcation line should be as sharp as possible. Sometimes its demarcation line has colors like yellow, green, blue or it is blurry. So to make that uh, demarcation line of the shadow sharp, you have to rotate this black color round piece. So you have to rotate till that uh, demarcation line become very sharp. Once it has become very sharp, then you rotate the scale knob till it touches the intersection point of cross wire and you stop there and note the readings. So this is how it is used. To check whether the instrument is ok or not, we have given this test piece. This test piece has two large surfaces. One is this which is optically polished which you can easily make out by looking at it and on the back side of this larger surface it is a matte finish on which its reading is written. Right now reading of 1.5210 is written. So how to use this uh, glass test piece? This glass test piece is used is always used with this test liquid. So these are the two things. So using this glass test piece, first of all we have to remove this lower prism or whenever you are using some other samples like strips or something like that then we don't use this lower part of the prism. Now we will put a fraction of drop. This is a very expensive liquid, test liquid, monobromonaphthalene. So we have to put a, a very fraction of drop on the polished surface of this test piece. And then we just stick it against the polished surface of this this prism box surface. So it will get just a stick there. So after then you have to rotate the scale and whatever reading is there. In this case it is 1.5210. So you have to take out this uh, take this scale up to that reading and then you will see that the shadow will be uh, matching with the cross uh, intersection point of cross wire. If it is not so suppose if the shadow is up, uh, above or below then here is the calibration knob. Using this part, you insert this part in the this knob the, so that this can be ho hold very easily and then rotate slightly and match the uh, shadow demarcation line to the intersection point of cross wire. This is the calibration part. Generally it is not required and if it is required maybe due to some transportation problem or some individual to individual eyesight. So for this, this provision is given. So this is all about this uh, Abbe refractometer and the same thing is done in every refractometers. We manufacture two types of Abbe refractometers. Uh, one part, one other model that we manufacture is totally covered. So its life is longer. It's, it's uh, the main advantage of that uh, other model is that uh, we have this prism box, a bigger prism box and the main prism is horizontal there. So you keep the liquid there and the subordinate uh, prism is movable. So in that case uh, your film is made very good and very easily. In this case uh, for the first times what will happen by the time you place liquid sample over this surface and by the time you move it to close some part will drain out and when you lock it so after some experiment you will get expertise in this and uh, you can easily see but in our uh, second model this problem is totally red uh, no problem of such type it is very simple put on a horizontal surface and the subordinate prism closes it and uh, one more advantage in our other model is that you don't need a table lamp it has got the inbuilt illumination so this is all about Razani make ever a refractometer. Thank you.